began to take every precaution and, and even uh, negotiating with the players right up to uh, this day right here uh, from a health standpoint, what's going to happen during training camp. Yeah, that's the most important thing. If you don't have healthy uh, players, you're not going to have a season. So the, important, the most important thing is get these players to the start of the season healthy. And I think this is going to benefit the Cowboys because without uh, an off-season program and no preseason games, they've got the entire month of August to get ready for the season. And with these and with these rookies coming in uh, uh, two days ago and taking their first test, and they have another test here soon. They have to go a seventy-two hour span. They got the quarterbacks coming in with the injured players. Then they got to do a seventy-two hour span. And if they all show up negative, then we lock them in a hotel that is near the Cowboys called the Army, and we start getting the things going. Man, I'm excited about it. And really, when you look at it, uh, Dave, uh, the, the Cowboys are well equipped, as, as Nate alluded to, quarterbacks and injured players on Thursday, and then this coming Tuesday, the rest of the veterans will go through the same process that the rookies did this week. The Cowboys, with training camp being held at the Star in Frisco, with the hotel right there, they've got, the, they've got a perfect spot to uh, keep the things contained throughout the course of training camp, don't you think, Dave? Absolutely. And, you know, I'm sure the players and, and those of us that cover the team as well would probably rather be in Southern California. Obviously, teams can't do that this year. Uh, but if you're going to have camp at your facility, I don't think anybody's better equipped than the Cowboys with their own indoor facility. Uh, if you've ever been to the Star or seen it, you know it's, it's a very spacious place. And, and like Nate alluded to, they've even got a hotel right there built into it. So, I mean, if you've got a self-contained at your building, I don't think any team is better equipped than the Cowboys. And we have to close out this first segment. Let me ask you, Rick, uh, with a new coaching staff, how far behind do you think the Cowboys are not having a, a normal offseason? Well, with the new staff, you're going to put in your install, your new offense, your new defense. They haven't been able to do that. But, like I said, with no preseason games, the entire month of August, they can do all the installations then and still be up and running by the start of the season. They'll probably be a little bit behind physically, but I think mentally they, they've been locked in. And, and I, I want to caution people, everybody's starting on an equal foot. And I understand it's a new system, but we already have Kellen Moore. Coach McCarthy is fitting his fitting into our, his place into our verbiage. And so it should be an easier transition for our offense. And it is a veteran coaching staff the Cowboys have with Mike McCarthy entering his first year as Cowboys head coach. We're just getting started on this edition of Cowboys Special Edition. Let's get you caught up on the news of the past month. And that would start with the franchise quarterback, Dak Prescott, will we? 